Ketosis has a very, very powerful effect when it comes down to stress. And stress has a very powerful effect when it comes down to ketosis. So understanding the relationship between the two is very, very important. But I do want to say that the focus of this video is to talk about how ketosis can truly help you modulate your cortisol levels and also modulate your stress levels. So let's get straight down into the scientific facts. But before I dive into that, make sure that you hit that little bell to turn on notifications so that you know whenever I go live or whenever I post a new video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all the videos that I do surrounding ketosis, fasting, and anti-inflammatory living. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is blood sugar and the response with cortisol and stress when it comes down to our blood sugar. Now, this is gonna make a lot of sense, so hear me out on it. Every single time we consume carbohydrates, it's broken down into glucose. This glucose triggers a response in the pancreas to secrete insulin. This insulin then takes that glucose and puts it into the cell. That's where it's burned for energy, okay? So once insulin is released, our blood sugar drops. So then the next thing that the body does is it creates a hormone known as glucagon, and this glucagon releases carbohydrates that are stored in the muscles back into the bloodstream to keep the blood glucose supply level. So what I'm ultimately getting at is then we have this constant up and down swing of blood glucose, it causes stress within the body. You see, every single time we have a rapid increase and decrease, our bodies end up secreting cortisol. And we know that cortisol is the stress response within the body. So yeah, believe it or not, eating carbohydrates and having these big fluctuations in blood glucose does actually stimulate your body to be in a stress state and produce more cortisol, which we all know is not necessarily a good thing. Now, when you're in ketosis, you're not having these big swings in insulin. You're not having these blood sugar swings because you're not consuming the carbohydrates and your insulin levels are nice and flatlined or at least very, very subtle bumps. You're not having the big swings. So that right then and there has a major effect on cortisol. Now having a positive effect on cortisol is one thing, but it goes a lot further than that. Let's start talking about the next thing that ketosis does when it comes down to managing stress, not just within your body, but also within your mind. And that leads me into gamma aminobutyric acid, also known as GABA. You've probably heard of GABA before, at least heard of it spoken as a supplement that you can buy, but a lot of people don't realize that the body already creates it, and it's a very delicate process within the body. See, when it comes down to mental focus, when it comes down to clarity, when it comes down to sharpness, and when it comes down to just feeling nice and calm and relaxed and efficient, it's a delicate balance between what is called glutamate and GABA. You see, glutamate can actually turn into GABA. So let me make sure that all of this makes sense. Ketone bodies that are released when you are in ketosis encourage the conversion of glutamate to GABA aminobutyric acid. Why does this matter and why is this important? Because it's that delicate balance between those two that allow us to be focused. For example, glutamate is very excitatory. Glutamate is a stimulant. Glutamate encourages more stimulus and it causes our brain to be really crazy and wired. It's needed sometimes and it's needed under times of stress, but we don't want it all the time because it can ultimately make us feel anxious and have a lot of brain fog. Now, gamma aminobutyric acid is the opposite. It promotes relaxation, okay? It turns off the stimulation. Now, glutamate turns into GABA but we don't want it all to turn into GABA, we just want it to be balanced. So if we have glutamate levels here and GABA levels here, we're anxious, we have brain fog, and we're stressed out. But if we can take some of that glutamate and convert it to GABA and get us nice and balanced, then we're right where we should be. We're even keeled, we're homeostasis, we're where we wanna be. Ketones, like when you're in ketosis, promote the synthesis of glutamate to GABA. They bring you to that balanced state. And that's extremely, extremely, extremely important because if you are not in that state, you are even more stressed out and it turns into this vicious circle where it causes more of a cortisol response and can cause a serious problem within the body. The two things that I mentioned on how ketosis affects stress are great, but we also have to understand how stress can inversely have an effect on ketosis. You see, when you're stressed out, you produce cortisol. We know this by now. Cortisol is not all bad, it has some good properties. In fact, it actually does quite literally burn fat, but the problem is that it stores visceral fat, which is gonna be the belly fat that we don't want. So that's never a good thing. But when we're in ketosis, we wanna make sure that we're keeping our insulin levels nice and low. So what ends up happening when we get stressed out? Well, when we get stressed out, this increase in cortisol encourages the body to break down proteins through a process known as gluconeogenesis. 
when we break down proteins through gluconeogenesis, we create sugar from protein. So that means when you're in ketosis and you're doing your best to stay nice and stress-free, and you're trying to feel good, and you're keeping carbs out of the equation, but then you do get stressed out, it's gonna cause the cortisol levels to elevate, which are thereby going to recruit protein to turn into sugar, which can kick you out of ketosis. So it's very important that you stick very strict to your ketogenic regimen so that your GABA levels are nice and so that your insulin levels are low so you don't have any instance of stress beyond what you already have with your daily life because stress will cause the body to break down protein into sugars. We have to be careful of that. So make sure you're paying attention, make sure you're meditating, make sure you're doing what you can to modulate stress as much as possible in your life on top of what keto already does for you. Lastly, I wanna reference a study that helps you understand why ketosis might also help stress from an oxidative level at the cellular level. The Journal of Neuroscience published a study that took a look at the effect of ketones on the mitochondria when it comes down to reactive oxygen species. You see, whenever we go through any kind of metabolism or creating energy in the mitochondria, there's a fair amount of what is called reactive oxygen species, also known as oxidative stress more commonly. This reactive oxygen species is very stressful on the body. It causes glutathione to have to secrete, it causes all kinds of things to have to be released just to neutralize those free radicals. Well, what we found is that ketosis enhances cellular respiration within the mitochondria. So this mitochondrial respiration means that it is more efficiently utilizing oxygen. Therefore, you're not having so much excess oxygen that is going around and oxidizing other things, causing oxidative stress. You see the common denominator here being oxygen oxidative stress. So when we're reducing that, we reduce the stress, again, oxidative stress on the body, which reduces the overall stress on the body, which reduces the cortisol response, which therefore reduces gluconeogenesis, which reduces the sugars in the bloodstream that would kick you out of ketosis. I know that was a mouthful. I know that was a lot to comprehend, but if you have to, rewind the last one minute and watch it again, because it's gonna make a lot of sense once you really, really listen to it. In short, ketosis is gonna help you manage your stress. It's proven to do so. Beta-hydroxybutyrate is a powerful ketone body that can cross through the blood-brain barrier and give you a lot of mental clarity and a lot of focus, but you have to make sure you're strict in order to get the benefits that I dished out in this video. As always, make sure you keep it locked in on my channel. If you have any ideas for future videos, hit me in the comment section below and I'll be sure to give them a good look to determine what's next for you to see. Keep it locked in, I'll see you in the next video.